And guys, you have to realize, you have to realize no matter what happens, that in life, when you have somebody taking pills to age well, and it's a doctor who's saying for you to take pills, or some type of stem cells, or any type of pills that, that can actually help you with vitamin C pills, and all these pills that you get in the pharmaceutical store, you go to the chemist, you get pills to boost your life force and to boost your confidence and boost your testosterone and make you more focused and make you a better person and improve your attitude and make you do public speaking speeches and make sure that you fly like an eagle in terms of having more wisdom. Guys, no matter what, any pill in the world will never ever solve your issues, it will never solve the coronavirus. Remember guys, coronavirus is fake. Plain and simple. Guys, no matter what, make sure that you never take pills to live a longer life, but you study nutrition the easy way and you realize how easy it is to eat better. Vidite ima Balkanci koji kažu ko je taj čovjek ko može da bude na kameri da priča ljudima i da saoštuće daje na boljima vremena. Ko je taj čovjek i gdje mu je nazimak života da on kaže nešto ljudima o kako je živio. Ko je taj čovjek i koga rodio? Kako on može to tako da kaže? Kako je se on rodio da on može tako da priča ljudima svoje nadimake i kakav je bio u životu i kako da prelazite u bolje vremenama? Kako on može tako da priča čovjek? Gdje mu je taj papir da kaže da on može da kaže nešto? Pošto Balkanci to kažu, ipak i loše, ja radim bolje. Naprimjer, kad radite bolje, zamislite rečenice svoje da ne kažete nešto loše, a da kažete nešto bolje. Pošto ima san veliki da ti vidiš nešto bolje u životu. I nemojte ljudi, molim vas, nemoj da pričate kako čovjek može da priča na kameri, i kako devojaka ili žena mogu nešto da pričaju trenutak života. Razumeš? Čim vi nešto kažete da ovaj čovjek ne može da priča zbog papira, vi ste takvi ljudi. Razumete? To vi vama kažete. Da vi ne možete da pričate tako. Razumete? I sad, slučaj. Nije papir u fori. Fora je da ti budeš bolji nego juče i ti kad učiš nešto, ti si bolji ovako i napo kad pokažeš lice, uvijek ćeš biti bolji, uvijek ćeš imat više pisma, više sreće, više veselja, više para kad te ljudi vide, pošto kad te ljudi vide, tad se rodi pare Oh, but Danny, how much money does he have? Now, I'm not gay, but I see that you women ask that question and I see that you ask, how much money do you have, Danny? So guys, no matter what, you have to realize, I have all the money in the world right now. Why do I have all the money in the world? Because guys, for me, health is number one. So I'm a person who is better than yesterday. I have all the money in the world. Do you understand? As long as I am healthier than yesterday and doing better than yesterday, I have the money. I have the money. I always have the money. So what makes me qualified to teach you and to coach you on how to live your life? Guys, I've lost 47 kilos. I've overcome schizophrenia. I travel Australia now for nine months, I make sure I'm better than yesterday, I make sure that I'm a person growing, I make sure that I can teach better and better every single day, I'm always doing something according to my life, I'm a vegan, I've overcome all my drug addictions, I've eliminated most of the sugar out there, I only eat around seven, seven grams of sugar a day and less, guys, no matter what, guys, I have no need to grab a qualification from university to teach you something about life. Guys, I'm in life right now. Life is my university. So for you women that believe that I need money to really coach people, yeah, I do need money. You know what I'm saying? I do need money. I do need more money. And for you guys out there that believe that I have a certain amount of money, and yes, I do. So no matter what, you have to realize now, money is important. But money will only get you so far. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I teach you how to get your health and then you can get your money because when you have money and no health then guess what? You will never be really living life because many people are multi-millionaires today they have no health they're too much IQ based you need to be EQ based 
EQ is emotional. It's soul to soul thinking, as one author said. So no matter what, I have to realize that no matter what, you need to always, always, always better your life and actually have to find out what his name is. He, he, he talks about the mastery of love, the, the, the mastery of love, the book is called The Mastery of Love, Rodriguez something. Go check it out. And you have to realize now, no matter what, that life is right now. You need to be able to grow, you need to be able to realize that money will never solve all your problems, but the more skills will. And that's what I teach, I teach more skills. So you ladies and guys out there who are judging me based on my money and my popularity to be able to teach something, you guys are already failing life because if you are open-minded and you really seen me how I was before and how I am now, you really, really listen because you really find me inspirational but most of the world never does. You understand? Only I find myself inspirational. You understand? So no matter what, I see many people saying that I'm an inspiration in terms of life and it's only 1% of them and no matter what they never learn from me so what I say is no matter what go learn from somebody who inspires you because every day I inspire myself I have no need for your validation in life I validate myself every day I'm completely happier than yesterday I'm living my life and guys when you see my Instagram many of you guys and now many of you guys and women out there would say big deal but for me it is a big deal you understand know because when you're better than yesterday, when you're actually feeling better than you were at 19, when you're feeling better than you were at 5 years old, it's a very big deal. But since you guys cannot see that, I can and it never really matters what you see in life. What, matter, what matters for me is that I grow and it matters that I really lift myself. So guys, for me, honestly, today I realize now that I must be always better than yesterday. I must realize that I must lift the world and it's about me now. You understand? Because when you're attacking me about that I cannot do something, I can always do something. I can always realize that there's a better life out there for me and I must always do better than when yesterday. So that's what I teach in my courses, in my online courses. So realize this, that if you guys are judging me based on who I am in life, then guess what? You're judging yourself even more because I have no need to judge you. I see you for who you are. I see that you judge me based on money. I see that you judge me based on popularity. To give me money or to do anything for me guess what i do it for free anyway i do it for free i'm better than yesterday guys so realize this i've got nothing to prove to you in terms of life if you never need to learn from me you can always go somewhere else and learn guys for me it's about motivation it's about let's be better than yesterday it's about mindset it's about leadership it's about hey let's talk ideas i've been giving you ideas for the past two years and guess what i never expect anything from you in return you understand know because guys, no matter what, I'm always a better person than yesterday. I'm always finding new ideas. And I'm always giving you ideas. So any time that you believe that I'm more successful than you, please come back and make sure that you learn from me so I can make you more successful. Guys, here's the thing about hand san sanitizers. Make sure that when you use hand sanitizer, it never has alcohol. Do you understand? Because alcohol will never make your skin better. Alcohol actually destroys your skin. Do you understand when you drink alcohol, your skin goes land it goes plain in terms of it goes yuck it goes white it goes so rigidy you know saying your, your skin becomes weak your skin becomes dry you know saying you, your, your skin needs moisture so when you're drinking alcohol when you're putting alcohol on your skin you'll never kill the germs what kills the germs is making sure that you are healthier making sure that you're studying nutrition making sure that you are in the head mindset wise even better making sure that you're Never thinking too much, making sure that you're thinking better than before, making sure that you're living in the moment. You understand? Guys, no matter what, when you're washing your hands, all you need is just water. You never need soap, you never need shampoo to wash your hair. I never, sh I never wash my hair with shampoo, guys. I have no need to put chemicals in my hair to, to wash my hair with shampoo. You get dandruff, just make sure you shower more with plain water. You understand? It's so simple. Now, no matter what, you have to realize that when you're brushing your teeth, use animal-free products. When you're using soap, use animal-free products. When you're using anything, make sure that you're trying to make a difference in the world. Make sure that you're making a difference in the world. Making sure that you're never trying, that you're just doing it. Be more careful about the world around you. You understand? There are plenty of animals being killed today. You understand? And 
you contributing to animal kill killings in the world is never helping you either. You know what I'm saying? So be a person who sticks for kindness, more kindness. It's much better to let the dog live than to slice it in the throat. You know what I'm saying? You understand? It just makes common sense just to stay away from the dog and never kill it. Pat it, let it be a friend, but never kill the dog. The dog is the same being that a human being is, has the same soul. You understand? The non human animals, without them, guys, what would we do? You understand? We need more creatures in the planet. Stop destroying them. Guys, here's, about, here's the thing about you talking about other people. When you're talking about other people and how disgusting they are, just make sure that you are lifting them up. You understand? No matter what, you must never, ever, ever talk about other people in a negative manner in the first place. So what you need to realize is the best thing that you can do is be a positive role model in terms of your life. Make sure that you're never disgusting when you say that other people are disgusting. You understand? So your words must match your your actual walk. You understand? And many people in the world are actually talking and chitty chatter, box of chatters. You understand? And guess what happened? Guess guess what's happening? They're never living their talk. You need to live your talk. Now, in terms of how I speak with the world, I speak in a world where I am better than yesterday. I am always doing something in accordance to what I say, and I live it. I live it and breathe it, and that's what integrity is. So, in terms of being chitty chatty and talking about other people behind their back and doing gossip, guys, realize this: that's disgusting behavior. And realize this: no matter what, that talking behind people's backs ultimately relates with you. If you call that person something negative, you're actually calling yourself negative. You're actually calling yourself negative in that moment when you talk about somebody else negative. So when you're talking about somebody else that's negative, make sure that you're talking about them in a positive manner. Because guess what? You never need haters. Haters will never get you anywhere. But you have to realize you never talk about them in the first place and just focus on you. That way, you save the drama. You understand? You never have drama in your life. You just focus on your path, you go your road, and you realize there is a better world because you have no drama in your life. Hey guys, here's the thing about when you are actually in a podcast with somebody, when you're actually speaking in front of a crowd, when you're doing something in terms of with people, when you're speaking in front of a camera, when you're doing something in terms of communication, make sure that you never state an issue. Never talk issues, do you understand? Otherwise, you seem like a politic because that's what politics do. They state the issue. And they just state issues with each other. It's so stupid what you're doing in terms of stating issues. So no matter what guys, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying overall that you need to actually state the solution. State solutions in your life every single time. When you're doing something around the world, when you're speaking with people, state the solution. Say what's the solution, how to actually overcome the, the issue. You understand? And you never state the issue in the first place. You understand? Because that's when you become positive. That's when you're thinking open-minded. But when you state the when you state the problem, you're thinking about the problem. You understand? So so that's a mindset error. Okay. Now there's no wrong or right in life. We have to realize that stating the issue will never solve the problem. So state more solutions. That way you can always have more solutions in life to think about in terms of doing better in life. Do you understand? So when you're thinking about in life, make sure you're thinking better, make sure, making sure that you're always correlated to doing something that's greater for you. You're doing something that's actually more amazing in your life. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what happens, I'm always a person who loves my life much better. I love to be in my video and just me. So no matter what, I'm always never annoyed by the people around me. I see that life has to be right now. And realize this, that when you're speaking about solutions, speak how to. When you're a politic, go into the politician boardroom and you say, this is how to do this. You must do this because of this. What's your problem, sir? You solve the problem. You never state the solution in front of people. You look like a jackass. <laughs> you understand? So no matter what, no matter what happens, just realize that the solution is always the ideal way to be about life. Because here are things, here are things about people in life. Guys, they'll say no matter what that nobody can think of the solution, that no matter what you guys are never able to think about something. Guys, always think about something 
that's going to relate into a better way. So realize that when you're speaking about people, that you're thinking in broader terms. You understand? You're thinking in broader terms. You're thinking in broader terms. So realize now that you can't predict the future. So when somebody says, "Oh, people can never predict the future," no, you can't predict the future. Believe me, you can predict the future on your own accord and based on what you're doing. Do you understand? Now, to predict the future and based on where people are going, why would you even care about people? Why do you even care about people? Focus on yourself. You understand? You never focus on other people outside of you. You understand? So what they are saying in terms of that aspect of life is they are saying, oh, that other people can never predict the future. You can't predict the future when you focus on yourself. So realize this: that the only issue is that there is no issue. So realize this: that the only problem-solving method is to predict, to predict the future. You must look inside. You must be your own mind. You must be your own uniqueness. You must be your own method of living in the moment. Live in the moment. The future, I can predict that all the time. The future will always be now. The past will always be now. Okay. The future, everybody's making money. The future, everybody's becoming better. Do you understand? How? Because the world is changing into a better place all the time. Do you understand? Why is that? Because I am changing into a better person. So guys, I'm always predicting the future in a better way because I expect success. So I expect the future will be success because I'm always successful. In that term, you can always predict the future when you're looking inside. When you're looking outside, into outside circumstances, you go out state an issue, like a politic. You understand? So never be a politic. Be a person who looks inside and is more than a politic. Be a person who's actually leading other people in terms of leadership, mindset, and ability, making sure that you, you guys can all predict the future by working on yourself the most. You never work on the world. Do you understand? You never work on the outside problems. Outside, there is no coronavirus. Where does coronavirus stand for? There's no such thing as coronavirus out there. Do you understand? Coronavirus is inside. Now guess what? I have no coronavirus. I'm a person who's free of disease. I'm a person who has no virus in life. So guess what? That the only type of virus that people can get in life is the sickness, the flu, based on the flu that's going around. Now there's no such thing as a coronavirus. You understand? There's no such thing as a virus out there. Now everything that happens in life out there happens inside. Now you have to realize that what's happening out there is happening inside. That the world. Projected out there is inside you. Okay, you're never looking outside in the world to solve your problems. You're looking inside yourself to really bring out the answer from within yourself to really take responsibility to really open your mind to show yourself that you can solve your own problems. Because when you solve your own problems, you will become an interdependent person. You become a person who can actually speak their mind. Guys, what I do today is I open my YouTube channel. I mean, I open my YouTube account. And I go on Robert Kiyosaki's YouTube channel or anybody's YouTube audio or video that they've uploaded. And guess what? I read it. I read it for one minute. I grab an idea. I put it into video. You understand? So I'm holding a selfie stick. So imagine me going to my YouTube now and continuing the podcast that Robert Kiyosaki just put up about the coronavirus. And he's speaking with two doctors. And those two doctors are speaking ideas, and he's speaking ideas too. And then I grab an insight. I grab an insight from that video that I can speak about. I put it into video. I put it into video content right away. I just press go into a different tab. I press into my video camera. I press record, and I start to give my perspective in the world. Why? Because I have a voice. I have a voice to say something. I have a voice to do something. So when I do something, I'm always thinking about the best. I'm thinking about how can I give you value. So what I do is I go on YouTube, I stimulate my mind with thoughts of other people, and then I give you my perspective upon what's going on around the world. So you have to realize that the only teaching of life is never out there; it's inside. You understand? There is no coronavirus going on. What's really happening is people are losing their jobs based on the myth. You understand? Do you understand that no matter what, when people lose their jobs, people are traumatized. People are losing. Health, they're losing all this type of sickness in the world because, guys, no matter what, the world can be sick. 
Now, no matter what, I'm not sick, but you realize that people who are losing out in life are never growing. And you need to be a person who's growing. So when you're growing, you never be worried about any flu, any cold that you get. Now, I've had friends from the past, fake friends, you understand? Fake friends, who were born with meningococcal. You understand? Actual disease or something like that in terms of that can kill them right away. No matter what, you have to realize, you have to realize that everything that happens in the world happens inside. So guys, realize this, that if you're healthy today, you'll never be affected by the world around you. So guys, step up today because the coronavirus is saying that hey, if you have no health, you have no wealth. And never rely on other people to plan your future. You have to plan your future. You have to look inside yourself. And you have to realize today you should take an opportunity to really start doing something positive. You understand? Never rely on other people to solve your problems, guys. Look inside yourself. Okay? Make sure that you're always predicting the future that you can plan, that you can that you can believe in yourself, that you can do something amazing, that you can really have a mindset of your own. Guys, live life in your own terms, be your own boss. Remember, you're your own company. You are your own brand. You are your own business. Start being a passionate person about yourself and love yourself daily and then go show the world your story by being so passionate in yourself. Hey guys, make sure that when you're in a podcast, when you're doing a podcast, okay, make sure that you're never worried about what you're saying. Make sure that you look healthy inside your video. Make sure that when people look at you, your skin is vibrating. Your skin is beautiful. Your skin is something to tell a story, to show a story. Make sure you're never telling a story. Make sure your story is showing. Okay? You're showing people how you live life, how you're taking action, what are you doing in daily life to really make it. So no matter what, guys, expose yourself completely, always. When you're giving a podcast, when you're doing something amazing in terms of giving value, make sure you're never so agitated about what's happening. You understand? You look very unhealthy that way. So realize this, there are many people who are doing podcasts that do, they look very unhealthy. You understand? So you have to realize now that health is first, okay? That your skin must be beautiful. Guys, turn vegan and your skin will be so completely beautiful. Okay, you have so much more energy. You'll be almost guaranteed to have health. Do you understand? And now, the other 1% is to make sure that you maintain your veganism. Do you understand? So, realize this, that you must study first nutrition, then you must go apply the action, then you must maintain throughout lifetime. Do you understand? So, that's, those are the three steps of any type of matter or any type of idea that you're actually going through in life. Realize this, there's always that first step. Take the first step, make sure that you're looking healthy in and out of your life. Make sure that the inside of your life is really spiritual, that you're really taking care of it, that you're really taking care of yourself, that you're really never poisoning yourself, never be around toxic people who are killing themselves, they have no life, they have no lifestyle, you understand? Those people who are working construction, they, have, they make a thousand dollars a week, guys, they work 60 hours a week like dogs, you understand? Make sure you're never that person who has to go to construction and hit the hammer 50,000 times, you understand? Because eventually, in 10 years time, you may, you may actually suffer so much pain in terms of your muscle strength and in your bones, you understand? So realize this guys, when you're giving a speech, when you're doing something amazing, when you're going throughout life, make sure you look excellent all the time. Make sure you study how to look excellent. Study how to feel better. Study how to do more energy. Study how to look much better than you do. Guys, I promise it's worth it. And guys, here's the thing that you do inside a financial crisis that you have. Make sure you throw away your car completely. Make sure that you never have to have 30 days supply of food. Descent. Stop being so scared about your health in the first place. Why do you need 30 days supply for food? Hello? Guys, make sure that you go shopping on the day. Get yourself for the day food. Get yourself shopping for the day. Guys, I used to shop around in where I used to live. And I used to shop for the whole week. I used to give $100 for the whole week. You understand? And guess what? Then I would be thinking what I was left with. Now you never think about what you are left with. You think about, you're always thinking about how much more you have. You understand? So in terms of when you shop around food courts and when you shop around food stores, guys, you have to realize I shop for my food for $11 and less a day. My food is $11 and less a day. I never eat at restaurants. Now, when I'm living life, I shop just for the day's worth. I never shop for 30 days supply. 
I never shop for seven days supply. I never shop for three days supply of food. Why? Because I'm traveling all the time. I'm always traveling. Look at my bag. My, my bag is very light. My bag is less than three kilos. So imagine I have five, six days, seven days in my bag worth of food supply. How does that look? It looks ugly. You know what I'm It looks ugly. It looks very scarcity. You guys, never be scared. Those people who shop for 30 days supply, those people who shop for 7 days supply, those people who never shop just for the day, guys, make sure that you're going into your local supermarket and actually getting food on the day. That's the best way to live life. That's the best way to live life as you will always have more money. Okay? So when you're shopping only for the day, you always calculate your finances just for the day. How much do you have today? You understand? And how much we have in the, in the space between how much you need to have. So say you have a 14 day period of having your money, make sure that you shop one day at a time, okay? That way you can calculate your finances easier than having to shop for seven days and calculate it that way, okay? Make sure that you have an orderly plan of financial freedom, tracking your finances and where your finances are going, okay? You can see in my Mega Drive on, online right now that I have a financial planning method and I also have a financial savings method. So when I walk around shops, I may be enticed to get myself curry rice for $6. And I say, no, I'll write $6 savings right away. I save $6 right away. I make a decision, no. And then I, I, because I am a music producer, I have to get myself a laptop. And I've said already, I've saved $4,000 on just saying no for my laptop. <clears throat> Why? Because I have the money, but I have something better to do. You understand? I can always afford anything. So imagine yourself saying you can afford everything in life. Guys, in the long term, you can always get what you need. So realize that today, that you shop only one day at a time. Instead of, instead of giving $100 for that seven days worth of shopping, give one day's worth of money, and that way you have $90 extra, and that way you have always more money. So guys, no matter what, make sure you're tracking your finances, making sure that you're always in a better mindset, making sure that you have more finances and a better job for yourself in terms of working on yourself. Guys, your job is you. So just remember to be more passionate about yourself and live your, your life in a much better fashion so that you can really, really prosper, so you can really succeed, and so you can really be confident. So guys, realize this now, that when you're shopping, shop for one day at a time. Shop for one day at a time, do you understand? Never shop for more than one day. Realize that you must realize to learn about nutrition and how you eat. Because diet is everything. Diet is TV, diet is audiobooks, diet is what you read, diet is who you surround yourself with, diet is everything about your schedule and how you live your life. Diet is what kind of drugs you take, and hopefully you take no drugs. You understand? Diet is everything. So guys, realize this. Instead of you shopping for the week ahead, shop one day at a time. I promise you, you have more money. That's what I do. I shop for one day at a time as I travel the world. I go into, I walk every single day into the food store, I just get what I need quickly and I go. I never waste time. I always have money. I always track my money every single day. Where, what did I give money here for? What did I give money here for? You understand? I give money for hostel $16 a night here in Perth and I give max $11 for food. That's all I need. I have Perth. I have Perth. I may invest $15 into prepaid SIM card to upload content and then I do content all day long. You understand? And then I give $10 here and there to go and experience something new. So simple, guys. And then I give maybe $150 to go into Adelaide for one flight ticket. I stay there in a new hostel and I continue my journey. And I give over there another $11 a day. I calculate it. $11 a day or less for food for myself every single day. I make sure to go to my local supermarket every single day to get my food. I have a food regimen, what I get all every single day. I get the most protein for my dollar. I get to live 10 years longer. I did a nutritional study. I look excellent. I'm better than yesterday. I'm full of energy all the time. And what? In Adelaide, it's $21 a night in hostel. I calculate it by 14 days. And I also calculate 11 times 14 too. I see how much it is. And I see how much more I have. I never see how much there is left. You understand? I see how much more do I have. I always see how much more there is in life. When you have, when you have $500, and 300 goes somewhere else, you have to see that that's how much more you have. You know it's never how much you have left. So realize this, that you live your life much better than yesterday, that you always 
looking at your finances and where your finances are going. Your finances can go towards everything that's the best. Make sure that you're never giving your finances towards cigarettes or alcohol. Guys, it's too expensive. You understand? It's never too expensive just for money and for financial aspects. It's expensive for your health, believe me. In the long run, you will die. You understand? Know you will die, you'll go down, you'll have no business, you have no passion, you look like a junkie. So promise me right now, no matter what, I need you to really, really, really see that you need a better lifestyle, so make sure you stay off the drugs. That's your first financial investment. I have over 50,000 investments right now, that's why I can travel Australia right now. You understand? Know I've turned vegan. Please start right now today to really look better, to really clean yourself, to really brush your teeth daily, to really feel much better about yourself because the world will appreciate you more when you look better. Hey guys, so there's a term called real money in life. Okay, so what is real money? So people believe that real money is paper and plastic that you gain from the government or that you actually work for or whatever. The actual dollars that you get in daily life, paper, notes, they believe that is money. Money never comes in the form of material. Did you see that? Money comes in the form of health. Do you understand? Money is great feeling. Have the feeling first, you have the money. The money is health, remember. Never get mixed and tied up with financial aspects of life. Remember that health is your financial ability. The more health you have, the more financial aspects of life you have. The more health you have, the more time you have. Realize health is first. When you have health, you have a business always. When you have health, you always be a better version of yourself. You always make a business from scratch. When you have health, you never be poor in life. So realize this, that the world around you right now is dragging you down in your health. And you need your health the most. You need to be a person who's studying and realizing today to apply more information into video while you're healthy. And that way you can build a business from scratch into self-education all the way up. And I'll see you at the top as Zig Ziglar says, because no matter what, you need to realize, you need to realize now that self-education is your key to success. Guys, put everything into video, look healthier on camera, as I do, and much better than me. You understand? I need you to be better than me. I need you to realize right now that money never never comes in the form of outside. You understand? There's no money outside. There's only money inside. Money is happiness inside. You understand? So the more happiness you have, the more money you have. Guys, realize happiness is key to your success. The financial aspects that you get from real estate and cash flow, the cash flow is all inside. You understand? Everything is related to health and life. You need more real estate, you need more health first. You understand? You need more money, you need to work for money. No, you need to get you need to work for your health. Sorry. You understand? Health comes first. Realize. Never be stuck in a nine to five job working like a slave for money. Be a person who is working 24-7 on your health and I promise you, you'll make all the money in the world. Hey guys, here's the thing about commodities. There is gold, silver, water, trees, grass, land, okay? There is also information. Guys, make sure that you invest in your health first. Invest in self-education. Guys, forget real estate, forget gold, forget silver, forget food and drink, forget water, forget everything else. Just focus on your self-education. You understand? Self-education is everything. There are three forms of education. Non-formal education, formal education, and self-education. You understand? Now, realize this, that there's informal education, non-formal education, and formal education. No matter what, non-formal education is self-education. Okay? So, be the person who's inspiring yourself to actually grow. You have so many motivational videos on YouTube that you can watch for free. You have all the mentors that I gave you. Please go get the information. And all you do is you grab a selfie stick, you watch the video, and then you put your perspective into mine in terms of you see what they say and you give your own perspective in the world. It's so simple. But make sure that no matter what, that you actually have make common sense of everything. Make common sense about your life. Okay? If something is not working in your life, make sure you stop doing it. You understand? Know stop repeating the same mistakes. Make sure that you're moving on from your mistakes, making sure that you're always learning, you're always growing, you're always spinning your propeller. You're always flying in the air. Okay? You're appreciating in life. You're going upwards. Okay? So no matter what, realize this. To connect the dots, start writing in your journal. Start to realize that 
no matter what, the commodities out there is the only information that you need. You understand? The information that you need is self-education. Only invest in self-education. Never invest in gold, never invest in silver, never invest in real estate. Never invest in anything else. Never go for real estate when you need health. Never go for gold to have money when you need health. Never go for silver when you need health. Never go for food and drink when you need health. You understand? Go and fast, fast, fast your food. You understand? I fast food. I fast. When there's no food for me, I fast. And it actually boosts my energy. Do you understand? Fasting boosts your energy. Okay? Make sure that you're eating less and less in life so you can have more energy. Your body actually creates your own energy for you. So the, the less you eat in life, the more energy you have. Okay? And the longer you will live. Because most food out there has toxins and poisons. So you have to stay away from sugar. You have to stay away from butter. All butters. Peanut butter, animal butter, whatever butter you eat. Avocado butter, stay, take it away. You understand? Just throw it away. Stay away from processed food. Stay away from legal and illegal drugs. I've already gave you a massive deal there. So no matter what, you have to realize that now is your time to succeed. Stay away from animal products. Okay? Guys, I already gave you four or five ideas to take action upon. Go and study those areas right now and become a psychologist in it. Become a person who actually has a philosophy in it and realize to start speaking in the world and start standing for a greater way of life. Okay? You need to stand for a greater way of life so you can be a positive role model, so you can do something amazing, and so you can realize there is something more in life. Hey guys, so, so realize this that nothing will ever cost you money. But what does cost you money is your unawareness. Okay, so the, the more that you are unaware in life, the more money you have to give people to solve your issues. Do you understand? So when you're giving money to people, they can solve some problem that you have. It's very easy to solve a problem. You understand? But the more that you solve problems, the more you can solve problems, and people will give you money so you can solve their problems. You understand? So the more economical problems you solve, the more of an entrepreneur you are. The more problems you solve in health, the more of an entrepreneur you are. The more you solve problems in every area of life, the more of an entrepreneur you are and the more of a life coach you are. So guys realize I'm a life coach because I can solve every problem under the blue stars today. I can solve every problem because every problem is solved in the moment and I live in the moment. Do you understand? So no matter what, you see why I'm a life coach because I live in the moment. Now guys, no matter what, realize this now that you need to be an entrepreneur who is a problem solver. You need to be somebody who is solving problems. So guys, think about this. This is how I solve problems. I have over 20,000 quotes. I solved over 20,000 problems. I have over 200 hours of video. I solved over 200 hours of problems. I have over two years of journaling. I solved over two years of journaling. Guys, make sure you go do the same thing. And also I have 12 hours of audio in terms of podcasting which I also solved another 12 hours of problems. So guys, realize the more content that you produce and you're solving problems and you're speaking up your perspective and you're actually solving people's problems in your videos and you're branding yourself and you're plastering your face on it, I promise you, you'll be greatness. Guys, no matter what you're doing in life, when you see a woman or man, your first instinct must be, hey, how smart is she? Is she a smart woman? How does she look? What is the first impression? Okay, what is the status? How much money does she have? Now listen, no matter what, guys, this must be overall your questions. You understand? Who is she? Why is she here? Why is he here? How much money do they have? Does he have a good heart? Does she have a good heart? You understand? Now realize that you must make a better decision and you must realize that they're better than yesterday. Because guys, realize, you need a person in your life who is better than yesterday. And that person is you. So guess what? All you realize now is you never focus on other people. You never focus on the man. You never focus on the woman. You're never desperate for men and women out there. What you're focusing on is your soulmate. Who is your soulmate? It's you. You understand? Your soulmate is you. So what you need to realize is you need to focus on you more and never look at the outside world. What you need to do is you focus on your business. What are you doing? How are you creating more interest in your life? When you create more interest in your life, you have more money, you have more attention, you have more popularity, you have more fame, and work it for free. Do everything for free. Make sure that when you go for a man or woman, that you're never going for them in the first place. Do you understand? Make sure that they come for you. Guys, be high value and be a person who walks alone. Walk alone all your life. 
You came into this world by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. Do you understand? You're going to walk this life by yourself. Nobody will walk for you. Guys, realize this, that the more alone you are, the more you, you invest time in solitude, as Brian Tracy says, he says, no matter what, the more you invest time in solitude, the more you become successful. Guess what I do? I go in the toilet and I sit there for one hour just journaling. Because I'm in a hostel, and guess what? Because I'm in a hostel, I get away from people, and I just sit in the toilet and I hog the toilet. <laughs> do you understand? I hog the toilet and I just have peace and quiet. Do you understand? So you can do the same. When I go to a anytime fitness gym, such as I did in Toba, I sat in the toilet for one hour doing how-to videos, and you can actually see it. No matter what, guys, no matter what, here I am in Perth, I, I call a supermarket, okay? I'm doing this also, this amazing, amazing race over here because I'm doing something for myself to be able to help myself grow. And that's what you need to be doing. You need to be going supermarkets everywhere to be doing your content, and you do it on the go. Guys, I make two, three minute videos in terms of motivational content and I put it all together and it's a nice, beautiful idea in terms of ideal work that you can take and grab and make sure that you go and teach it someone, to someone. Make sure that you, no matter what, that you go and teach my ideas. Make sure that no matter what, that my ideas are something that is beyond this world, okay? Make sure that all thoughts in life are never your thoughts, that your thoughts are just correlating with how you live life. So the better you live life, the better your thoughts, the better your vibrancy, the better you look, the better you are, okay? So realize this now. You need to be a person who has far greater integrity, far greater communication skills, and far better everything in life. You need to be moving on in your speech. You need to realize that no matter what, you need to keep the audience attention all the time. So when you're always sticking to one topic, one topic, one topic, realize that stick about life. Stick it to life. You understand what do I mean? I mean stick it to life in terms of teach life how life is. Teach what is. What is? What is right now? This is what is that I teach right now. I'm doing something for me. Okay, there's no judgment here. Never judge people. Never judge a woman by how she dresses. Never judge anybody by the way they look. Okay, as soon as you judge, you've lost the mark. You've sinned. Okay? There is no sin in life. It's just you're missing the mark. You're not growing. And you're never growing when you judge. You understand? So guess what? The only sin in life is never growing. But when you're forgiving, when you're forgiving yourself, you're letting go of the past, you're moving on, and you're walking that lone road uh, as a loner, as on your own, being a misfit, I promise you, you will escalate into success. Guys, for seven years, I was rejected by the crowd behind me. You understand? And guess what? I'm always in front of the crowd now. Why? I'm first in my life. You understand? When I go in the bus, I go first. Why? I'm selfish. You understand? Now, guess what? I can also let people go through. Why? Because I'm selfish too. I can be the last one going to the bus and I can be selfish like that too. No matter what, realize this. I'm never against people. I'm your friend, as John C. Maxwell says. Guess what? I'm not John C. Maxwell. I'm not anybody else but me. So realize this now. You need to be a person who sees the outside world as never fulfilling. Other people can never fulfill you. You understand? That wife you have, who's so beautiful, will never fulfill you. Those kids that you have, will never fulfill you. Your pets and your material positions and your money will never fulfill you. What will, what will fulfill you is your health, your vibrancy and being better than yesterday and growth. You understand? Guys, stick to that, go study growth and make sure that you make growth part of your daily life right now. And guys, the only way to gain more health is to study nutrition first. Study nutrition, dedicate, your, dedicate yourself over the next lifetime. Dedicate yourself over the next 73 years to just study nutrition. One step at a time. A few ideas here, a few ideas there, a few ideas here, a few ideas there. Study an audio book, put it on Times 3.5, study it on YouTube and inside YouTube. Put an audio book on, read the book 10 times. Read the book 10 times, study it, listen to it, repeat it. Okay, get yourself another book. Repeat it 10 times. Get yourself another book. Repeat it 10 times. Is that easy? Is it easy to really invest $15 into a book? You repeat 10 times to really learn it, to really, to really start being serious about business? I promise when you read 100 books and you repeat those 100 books 10 times each, I promise you, you have a scale business. What's a scale business? A scale business is full of ideas. A, a, a scale business is contribution. A scale business is something broadening your mindset. A scale business is something that no matter what, 
It's an overview of how excellent you can do. And once you see all these ideas that you have, you start applying all of them. Start really teaching it, all the ideas. You may get one million ideas. And then you start, start with one idea, you teach a perspective for one, one, one minute based on ideas, and you give maybe 100 ideas in that video. You start another one, teach again, teach again, teach again. Look at how I'm doing it. Go module me and what I do in my videos and copy my exact words, copy everything in terms of how I do it. Now guess what? Never copy exactly what I say, just copy what I do. So you can never copy me exactly what my words are in terms of word to word. You understand? But look at me, I'm doing a video, okay? Go and make sure that you go stand in front of a video. That's you doing it like me. And then, yes, you can do that. And then, guess what? You move your hand signals in the video. You can do that also. And then you start to speak something based on some aspect of life. That's you doing it also. That's three doing aspects of life. Then what you do is, no matter what, you see I have a selfie stick right now, go grab yourself a selfie stick. That's another doing part, that's four doing parts, okay? And then, for example, you have a remote controller in your selfie stick, make sure you get one also. That's part five of the doing part, okay? And then what you're doing is you're making one to five minute videos, one to one minute videos, or you're just making videos from one minute to an hour long and ranging, it's just ranging. And you're just doing that, and that's part six in the doing aspect of life. No matter what, and then you just travel the world as I do. That's part seven in terms of doing style. Make sure that you look your best, you feel your best, okay? In terms of life, make sure you study nutrition as I do. That's doing already eight, stuff that I'm doing, okay? So that's all habits, okay? And you need to realize that habits are everything. Habits are really going to help you prosper your mind. It's going to help you to become the best you can be. It's going to help you to shine. It's going to help you to be in the spotlight. It's going to help you to actually give your perspective because guess what? Your thoughts matter. Okay, so the more you actually speak, the more you're going to get confident about speaking. Okay, the more you are in camera, the more you're going to be confident inside the camera. So realize this today, that you actually go and speak something that you are brave about. Go and speak something about your passion. What is your passion? Go and live your life and speak your story into a video. And do it and keep doing it. Talk about yourself. The more you talk about yourself, the more you succeed. Hey guys, here's the thing about selling yourself in your price tag. Guys, realize this, that free is the best way to become famous. Being free, in terms of living for free, working for free, making sure that you have freedom, guys, that's the best way to live. So when you're giving content for free, you will have a free life. You will live for free. You go everywhere for free. You always have money. You always never be a slave. You actually be free in your totality of your mindset, your heart and soul. You'll be a free soul, you know what I'm saying? When you work for free, that means you're doing charity work. Charity work has everything to do with you working for free. Go and work for free everywhere. I work for free all over Australia. I work for free everywhere. I work for free in the hostel. I work for free everywhere. My journal is with me everywhere. Me, I'm writing my content everywhere because I'm for free. I'm for free. I'm the most affordable life coach on the planet right now and I'm the best right now. I'm the best of the best. I'm better than Tony Robbins, okay? And I honestly am right now the best of the best. I'm the best of the best in the world. No matter what, you have to realize now that when you're working for free, that when you're the most affordable life coach, when you're the most affordable person in your field, guys, people will come to you for answers. People will start to really, 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 really believe in you. Guys, no matter what, let them decide for you how you must live your life. Let them decide how good you are. When you are giving content, when you are giving ideas, somebody is bound to share you when you are working for free. You understand? When you're giving your content for free and you have 218 gigabytes of your self-education that you can give to other people and you have self-educational material that you're giving for free into the world, somebody is bound to share you, somebody is bound to share you around and talk about you. So guys, just realize this, have, a, have an attractive social media such as Instagram, have yourself a mega storage online and start producing content and start getting money in terms of online storage so that you can actually upload your content online, be on top of your content every single day. Realize this, that no matter what, never be scared of the world around you, never be intimidated, and never react to security guards or anybody who's actually approaching you in a negative manner or in any type of manner that you find maybe disturbing. And make sure that when you find it disturbing, that you realize to take ownership of that. What do I mean? I mean, when you're angry, say that you're angry about it. And why are you angry about it? What have you got to be angry about? Why are you scared for? 
Why would you be scared about somebody walking so close to you? Why are you weirded out? Say, I'm not afraid, I'm fearless. Move on, just realize, just be self-reflective that you're scared about something. You know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're labeling fear, when you're looking fear in the eyes, when you're actually losing in life, when you're actually doing something in terms of winning, when you're doing something in terms of success, when you're cocky, when you're arrogant, when you're resenting, when you're jealous, make sure you label your feelings. Now many people are doing drugs, many people are on the medications, many people have lost their sense of integrity and themselves. Why? Because there's too much inside the drugs. And the drugs will numb you and your feelings and you will never see to be self-reflective because you'll be so arrogant and ignorant about the world around you and what's going on inside of you as well. So when you're ignorant of yourself, you're actually neglecting yourself. So be a person who's never neglecting yourself, be a person who's spiritual, be a person who has the health needed to actually self-reflect. I'm always self-reflecting everything. I see a video, Robert Kiyosaki speaking with someone, they're stimulating my mind, and I hear the information, I say, that's what I'll talk about. I put a video, I just put the tab on, I, put, I switch over to the next page, which is my video content right here, I press play, and guess what, here I am doing a video right now for you, based on something that sparked my interest, and I just, with that interest, I just put it into video, I put it into content, because otherwise I have to write in my journal. You know so what I do is, I go online, I start to do it in this kind of way, I start to learn in this kind of way, I start to learn as I read YouTube, I read two minutes of YouTube, I grab an idea, I put five minutes in, into perspective, into a video. You understand? Based on one idea that Robert Kiyosaki or someone he talked with sparked my attention with. So no matter what, I just, anything that gives me an idea, anything that gives me an idea, I solve the problem. I solve it in a new perspective every single time, I talk about it in a different way. And when you're talking about something in a different way, you're going to be the best of this. You're going to be the best of the best in your field. So realize now is your time and opportunity to really, really find something to do that's really your passion. Guys, make your passion you. I already said it. Make yourself your passion. Make yourself your brand. Make yourself your actual interest in life. Make yourself your love of your life. Make yourself everything in life and make sure you leave the crowd. Guys, make sure you start learning something and start teaching it right away. The fastest learning on the planet, the speed reading course, everything that's actually the fastest learning in the planet is you being on camera, putting your face into the camera, speaking your mind. Okay? Make sure you go do it. Hey guys, so here's the thing about stock markets. Stock market is the Bitcoin and the, the currencies online that you can go and get, for example, in terms of currencies. Make sure that you never get them. Make sure you never invest in your Bitcoins and all that kind of stuff because, guys, the stock market will never help you. So the Bitcoin is all got to do with currencies and all these online currencies that is eventually the paper money is going to go into currencies. So today we have no paper money, we actually have plastic money. And the cryptocurrencies is actually what it's called right now. So that's what I've been meaning to say. So realize this, never invest your money into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies are never the real satisfaction of life. Realize this, did you maybe have $10,000 in savings that you've actually worked for and then you go put it in the stock market. And what are you going to do with that money now? You have to wait five years for that money to double? Guys, realize this, no matter what, you need to realize that the stock market can crash and you can lose all your $10,000. You can go up to $18,000 and that $18,000 drops to $2,000 easily. And people can flip the, flip the switch on, on their stock market. So realize, never rely on the uphill climb in terms of the stock market. Or what you realize now that you invest your money into education. Education is key for your success. So no matter what, when you invest in education, realize you have to learn how to learn faster. The best way for you to start right now, when, when since I have all this information right now, the best way for you to start right now is make sure that you can figure out how you learn. The best way that you learn right now is through a journal, through video, and through audio. Figure out which one you're most confident in and start doing something in that field right now. You may be a person who's very shy and has no skills to be on camera and show your face because you may be fat, you may be ugly, you may be something that God knows. You understand? Now, I never know anything. You may be a person who is in, in a writing 
format. You may be a person who actually loves to write. Start to write. Start to write daily and start to really dig in and start to really show yourself who you are in terms of your journal and spread your story around in your journal and go show it to people. You understand? Show people your story. So what you do is, first you just journal for the next year. Just journal. Forget about showing people for the next year. Just journal, journal, journal. And realize to write every single day as much as you can. Or start an audio podcast and realize this. No matter what, just do an audio podcast every day for the next year. And you never have to show it to anybody. You understand? And then realize this. The more confident you get over time, you will eventually start showing it anyway. Because you'll be so hyped up about it. Okay? So realize this. Same for videos. Start doing videos on camera right now. Even with where you are. Okay? And never show anybody your videos. Just have a nice, beautiful USB where you put all your videos. And you say, you may be fat, whatever. You say, hey, this is my first video. Okay? Look at me. I weigh this much. Okay? This is what I've learned being this much overweight. Or whatever your problem is. Make a thousand videos, 50,000 videos. Eventually, over time, you're going to build the skills needed because you've taught so many videos already, you become somewhat more of a specialist in terms of, let's say, you, you become someone more knowledgeable in that field. Eventually, make sure that you're never an expert, make sure you're always staying a student about what you teach, make sure you're always growing, and make sure they're always saying, I'm not sure about anything in life. So now, since you have all this content, say, of 10,000 journals, and you have 10,000 videos that you've made, you've never showed anybody, and you've never showed 10,000 audios to anybody, and you have 30,000 videos, audios, and journals. Okay? Now, you've never shown anybody, but you're doing much better. You see results. You're going to be much more hyped to go on social media and start spreading it around. Guess what? That's when your business starts. Your business starts the moment you start sharing that content around. You understand? So take your time with it. Make sure that you're never, never scared to go on video. Start going on video now, and in 10 years' time, Go and release the videos when you're actually much healthier. Start now, please. Start now doing your journals. Guys, no matter what, I do a journal every single day, and then I post it online. The whole world can see what I talk about. I talk about, hey, I have to go have, I have, to go have sex with this escort, whatever. You understand? Because I have reasons to be having sex with escorts right now. That's the way I see life, and I actually say it right now. No matter what. But you have to realize that everybody has a need to do something in life, and sometimes we all have to have some fun. In you know a sense, so realize this, I'm a natural person, okay? I'm a natural person. But for me to hurt a woman in daily life, I just can never do it. In you know a sense, so obviously I just need to have sex right now. And no matter what, my sex is only for me. So what I realize is, no matter what, that when I speak about sex, I speak it only in terms of how my life is. I speak it in terms of an example I'm giving right now. That no matter what, when you have issues, you solve your own issues, you solve your own problems. When you're fat, you need to solve it for yourself. Guys, I was fat. I weighed 47 kilograms. Guess what I've done? I went and studied nutrition. I started to really, really dig deep into nutrition. I made the local supermarket my university. I started to go in the supermarket. Nobody forced me. And I started to really check the ingredients. And I started to go on Google and I started to check what's this ingredient, what's this ingredient. Every single day, I used to learn something. And then I would get myself, I invest, I invest in myself in terms of something in terms of food I'd go home and I'd make my food actually I'd cook on the pan and actually put the effort in to go cook myself and I'd, I'd experiment with different tastings and different spices and guess what I had a good time back then but now when I realized how I ate it was really no good how I was eating but now I eat the best because of the way I did eat you understand? because of the way I did eat I realized the better way each and every time, I always found a better deal. Instead of going to get myself the almond milk that's $3, I went to get myself the soy milk that's fifteen, And I saved myself a deal. And I did that for one year. So imagine that. fifteen minus $3 is so 85 So 285 in terms of one, 185 So $3 minus $1 is 2 Then I, I make $1.85 I make a day. You understand? So you have to realize now that when you're calculating numbers, calculate it with feelings. Calculate it in terms of putting it on paper. 
put your thoughts to paper, realize that you matter in life, that you can do videos now, that you can do audios right now, that you can do something right now to succeed, make sure that you go and do it. Make sure no matter what, nobody sees you and what you're doing. That's what I've started doing. I started doing, no matter what, I started doing my journals. For one year and three, for one year and three months, one year and seven months, I was doing journals. I never showed anybody. And then I, saw, I, I realized, hey, let me start showing people and creating content in my journals everywhere around the world and then showing people how to really live a life inside my journals. That way I'm adding value for them inside a writing format, but I'm also building my own mindset and actually getting better in my communication because I'm writing something down. I'm actually doing something to give value in the world through a journal and nobody has to see me. And yes, you see how I plan, you see my actual reasoning, you see everything behind how I actually live life. And that's how you can start. You can do 10,000 videos, or 10,000 audios, or 10,000 journals, or you can do 30,000 of each, just then. And then once you get really good, once you get the best of the best in terms of what you do, you just go, hey, you start uploading to YouTube, you start uploading, preferably in a, in a mega online storage. So I have an online storage, which is called mega online storage. You gain the first 85 gigabytes for free. The first 85 gigabytes for free. You'll never find that anywhere else on the market. In the market, Dropbox will give you two gigabytes of free storage, and then you have to give fifteen dollars a month. Mega Storage Online will give you 85 gigabytes a month for free, and then it's seven dollars, eight dollars every single month for 400 gigabytes. You understand? So realize now, no matter what you do, realize now to start doing something in terms of content production. Content production is your blockchain. Blockchain is a way for you to actually get your content into the world so that you can realize that you are everything that you need. So when you're expanding out into the world, realize that you never expand out into the world, but that you realize that you just realize yourself only. Realize that you need to give your content into the world. Realize that you need to produce content, that you need to mix up your mind in terms of a better way of life. You need to realize, how do I make a better way of life? How do I really live my life to the best of my ability? And what can I do today to really do something that's going to be far incredible for me to do that's actually going to help me move forward? So realize now that when you're starting now in your journal, in your audio programs, and in your video programs, realize you're going to be a coach. Are you excited? And realize that you will brand yourself as your name. Okay? Your company name is your name. Your brand is your name your company and organization is your name so your business is your name okay when people hear your name they're gonna say this person has information I have to go and study from this person you'll be an inspiration in the world but guess what this is over a lifetime you understand in the first five years you may be a nobody in terms of having high status okay but then guess what eventually you have social media as your tool right now you can start right now to read something and then put it into action the way you look right now, the way you feel right now. And then guess what, that's what I've done. You can actually go see my how-to videos and how I looked at the start of my videos and guess what, I look very ugly, to be honest. But guess what, I started and I was, I was doing much more than those people in the crowd before. You understand? I started to teach something, they were never teaching anything. So you can see how I've evolved by teaching. So when you're teaching more and more, you're going to realize there's a better life for you always. And you'll never be affected by anything that goes on around the world. You'll be a healthier person. You're teaching integrity. You're teaching truth. You're, you're, you're preaching truth everywhere. You understand? So what preaching truth is, is that you're just teaching people a better way of life. It's a spiritual world. The more you teach, the more you'll be, the more you have, the more you do, the more you have, the more you do everything more. So guys, realize the more you teach, the more you give, the more you have, the more you'll be selfish, the more you'll have more. You understand? The more you'll be all you can be. So make that your world journey that you realize that you have more, that you realize that you do more, and you realize today is your ultimate chance to really succeed. Hey guys, realize this. When you're asking questions about people in terms of how young they are, make sure that you're never asking them how old they are. Okay? Because when you ask them how old they are, they have to think about how old they're going to be. Never think about oldness, never be elderly, never be a person who's an elderly person. An elderly person is a person who is actually old, 
They all they weak, they frigid, they do nothing. Do you understand? So never ask people based on how old they are. Ask them what is your age? How young are you? What is your age? Do you understand? So based on age, you just have to always look at a person first. Are they worse than yesterday? Are they best are they better than yesterday? Do you understand? If you see the person is old, old older than yesterday or in terms of they look older than they did when they were younger then you realize that person's age is very old in a sense so you never even have to ask them their age but when you see the person's young then you realize that that, that person can actually help you to really drill in some youngest some youngness and some intelligence and something amazing in terms of overcoming adversity something that that person can give you value because that person's young, that person has energy, that person's inspirational and has interest in life. Old people, you'll find them, they're walking slowly, they have the stick, they're watching TV, they have the glasses, they're stuck in the news, they're gambling, they're drinking alcohol, they're smoking cigarettes, those are old people. You understand? I was one of them. I was a person who was gambling, I was a person who was smoking cigarettes, I was a person who was drinking alcohol and that made me old. When I was fat, when I was 47 kilos heavier, when I was 113 kilos and on medication and a schizophrenic and I was eating meat, guess what? I looked 45 for my age. You understand? I look 45 at the age of 24. I look 45. So what you need to realize is you need to look younger in terms of your life. So what do I mean? Make sure that you are looking young and vibrant. Never old, never have wrinkled skin, never have ugly teeth. Be sexy, be look at sexy, okay? So in terms of looking at people, go to the people who look sexy and be around those people. Go get to meet them, get, get to meet them and actually realize they are the people that you need in life. Realize now, all you need really is people who are millionaires who look like that. You understand? In daily life, people may look sexy but guess what? They have no time for you. You understand? As soon as you leave the area, that, pe that person will never contact you again. So you have to always be in tune with people around you in the world who are really successful. Be in tune with me. Be in tune with me all your life. I promise you, I'll teach you each and every step of the way. Every single day, I'll upload two hours of video. And also content. You understand? And now, I decided to do two hours of video instead of one hour of audio, one hour of video, and journals. I started to do two hours of video instead of podcasting. Do you understand why? Because at least I get to show my face inside my video. That way, I can make up for it. I can make three hours of video. I can really drill it in every single day. No matter what, guys, realize when you're giving videos, when you're doing content, that it's all about becoming younger. It's all about looking better. It's all about feeling better. It's all about giving information, giving commodities. A commodity is an information or an, or an idea. So a commodity is information. That's one linkage. I just linked the information there. You have to be able to link information with information all the time. So guess what? A commodity is an idea. An idea is information. Information is wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge. That's how you connect ideas. That's how you get smarter. That's how you link synonyms and build your vocabulary. And then you do this on video and you actually learn from it yourself. Guys, it's really simple, but first you need to build the self-esteem. First, you need to build your writing skills. You need to learn English. You need to learn how to speak in English or in your language. You need to start doing those videos that I said in my series here. That you need to start producing audios, videos, writing. Do something. Do quotes. I have over 20,000 quotes. Start writing your own quotes. Guys, I was laughed at for writing quotes. You understand? I had, I had Facebook before and I would be writing quotes. I started one from ten. I would, I would put one slash ten and I put my first quote and I put my second quote. I did ten out of ten and I went from eleven, I went eleven slash twenty and I started slowly to build my quotes up online on Facebook. I found out that a hundred people blocked me. A hundred people blocked me for giving value and I still have those quotes today in my, inside my self-education program. It's the first hundred quotes that you see. So no matter what, you have to realize now that in life people will never be your friend when you are more successful than them. When you're doing something more successful, when you're looking much better than them, when you have more money, when you have more success, more fame, 
a better girlfriend, a better looking girlfriend, better sex, bigger in terms of life, in terms of more effective in terms of bigness. Guys, make sure that you are more effective than being big in life. No matter what it is, make sure that you're never a person who is a pervert. Make sure that you're always a person who is loving yourself the most. Guys, stay away from pornography. Stay away from stuff that's going to kill you. Stay away from people having sex. Make sure that you never masturbate to people having sex. Make sure that you're never masturbating to people having sex. Guys, that's a poor attitude. Believe me. Go and focus on yourself more. Go and focus on your personal development. you got something better to do in life. Go and make yourself money. And guys, realize that health is number one. When you're working on yourself each and every second, you're making money, believe me. Because you're increasing your happiness. Each time you increase your happiness, your money is increased. You understand? You never hit the jackpot. You understand? What you do is you grow and you realize you are the jackpot. Do you understand? And that's that in the work. That's my quote. So no matter what, just realize now. You need to realize that today is your chance to really succeed. So realize today that when you're looking at people, when they are old, stay away from them. When you're looking at anybody in daily life, stay away from them. Never have conversations with people in daily life. Why? Stay away from the crowd. Stay away from conversations with people in daily life because you see they're unsuccessful. You see that they are unsuccessful. And now, guess what? I'm, I'm a successful person. But because they have no popularity, guess what? You need to go where the popularity is. You need to go where the attention is. You need to go and watch the people who have the attention because they can give you the skills needed so that you can, ha so that you can gain the attention. Now, all I am is a knowledge broker. I'm a person who gives you information. I'm a life coach. I'm a person who give you, who give you information. I'm your resource in life. A life coach is a resource. So when I give you information, I'm actually, all I'm doing is helping you set the cell for a better life, okay? I'm just a, a resource worker. I'm a person who gets knowledge, applies it, and I teach it. That's what I do, and I'm not your guru. And I say, I'm not the person who teaches you. You are. I give you ideas, but you have to go do it, you understand? As Tony Robbins says in his doc documentary, he says, I am not your guru. No matter what, he may be the best life coach in the planet for some people. But guess what? He says, I am not your guru. Now, in my life, I'm the best life coach in my life. I'm the best life coach in the planet for my world. So, I consider this world my world, and I'm the best life coach in the planet right now. And I always consider myself the best of the best. So what I do on a daily basis is I grab information from the outside world, I apply it into video. I grab, I see someone doing something, I apply it into video. I see someone doing something that can be done better, I grab that idea, I put it into how you can do it better. I see something that's architecturally designed to be worse, I make sure I grab that one and I put it into video so that people can solve that issue much better. Do you understand? I look for problems and I solve them. I'm a problem solver, do you understand? I look for problems and I solve it. I never state the issue and never solve it. I never state issues. All I state is problems in terms of solutions. I only state solutions in life. So when I talk solutions, all I'm really talking about is for you, how you can resolve all your issues, how you can really talk better, how you can really overcome schizophrenia, how, can you, how you can overcome bipolar disease and all types of disease and diabetes and everything. Guys, it's all got to do with nutrition. It's all got to do with reading. Study nutrition, read, I promise you, you overcome schizophrenia, bipolar, weight loss design, everything. In terms of weight loss, everything. You overcome when you read. You overcome when you read nutrition. You lose weight. When you read nutrition, you, you lose weight. When you read, you get smarter. When you get smarter, you do everything else. By yourself, you, you, you'll see how to grow. You'll see how to apply information. You'll be your own person. And you'll, be, you'll be going up. You understand? No matter what, guys. You have to realize, today is your ultimate opportunity to really set sail in a better way. Guys, realize, never waste it. Never waste this moment. Do you understand? I've been sitting here just reading Robert Kiyosaki's book, audio pod, podcast about the coronavirus. And I realize that Robert Kiyosaki is too much IQ. Do you understand? Because the guy is worse than yesterday in his health. And he's saying that he's taking care of his health. And I see that he's worse than yesterday. So what you have to realize is you need to take more action in the terms of health in terms of how can you better your health how can you look better how can you have the strong muscles the better skin making sure that you're, you're boosting your communication skills boost your communication skills be a person who's actually living life much better in terms of wording your sentences in a way 
we sound very professional and much better than that. Be a person who's always looking to love life in a better way. Look to give love so that you can receive love. Look to actually be a person who's actually helping the world around you. Support people and you'll be supported. Give your, give your information for free and you realize that when you give for free, you, you shall be set free. You understand? When you're working for free, nobody will hassle you. Nobody will hassle you for, for when you work for free. You'll be a free man. You'll be a free soul. You, are, must be, you must be a person who's working for free for other people in terms of for freedom for yourself. When you're working for free, you're never working for other people. You're working for yourself the most so that you can actually be free. When, when I work for free, I'm working for free right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm labeling every single word that I say in a different manner so that I never repeat the same words twice. When I do this, I realize I'm much smarter than yesterday because now I've ingrained the same knowledge in a different manner and it's always repeating in my mind in a better way. I'm always figuring out different ways to say something in the same blueprint in terms of in a different manner. In that way, I'm always learning and I'm always growing from my own words on video as you watch me. And guess what? I'm growing right now. So whether you are learning or not, you understand? I'm growing. So make sure that you grow with me. I'm better than not. I'm better than if. I'm better than but. You understand? That's, that's my words. I'm better than um. You understand? So no matter what, realize now, you need a better schedule. You need a better time management technique. You need to realize that you need to start doing podcasts. And you need to realize that social media today may be very bad for you. You understand? So what you need to realize now, I only have Instagram. I have no Facebook. I have no Twitter. I have no Snapchat. I have no LinkedIn. I have no TikTok. I have no podcasts, iTunes, and I have no, for example, audios in iTunes and Spotify and Twitch and YouTube and SoundCloud. My audios, my audio programs, my videos, my YouTube account, everything is inside my Mega Drive. When you open my Mega Drive, it's the first link in my Instagram. When you open it, you go into my videos, you go into my audios, my quotes, you start reading right away. Nobody will do it for you. Sorry. Do you understand? You need to start doing it yourself. You need to start walking those steps yourself. Because guys, if I do it for you, what's the point of your life? I'd rather, do, I'd rather you do it yourself so you can really feel success once you do overcome your challenges. I overcame my challenges, you can too. You understand? I did it one step at a time. Was it easy for me? No. Before, my life was never easy. I lived a difficult life. I went from 15 years and 7 months. From the age of 15, I was going downhill. For the next 10 years, from the age of 15 to, to the age of 25 and 7 months, I was going downhill. From the age of 25 and 7 months, I changed my mindset. I started to contribute. I said, I must contribute. I must contribute and I've been contributing now. I started losing weight. I started to really improve my life. I started to get serious about my life. I really started to get serious. I started to take action all day long. I started to read. I started to read nine hours a day. I was reading nine hours a day. I was reading six hours a day. I was reading faster than ever. I was reading at 3.5 times. Times 3.5. I still can read on 3.5 times. All you do is guys, you read on 3.5 times. You repeat the book 20 times. You realize you can realize no matter what that you learn the book. You understand? You just keep repeating it. You, you may miss some information, just keep going. The second time around, you pick it up. The third time around, say you miss it in the first, second, and third, and fourth time. The fifth time around, you pick it up. The sixth time, you pick it up. The seventh time, you pick it up. Just keep repeating the book. Eventually, your mind will say, hey, let's move on. Let's, let's learn something else. I can see I've learned the book. You understand? So when you've learned the book, all you've done is you've absorbed the information. You understand? You've absorbed the information. You see what they're talking about? Thank you very much. Let's go to the next book. You're absorbing my information. Please repeat this audio five, six, seven times. Make sure that you every make sure that in every single audio that I say, that you repeat it five, six, seven times. So you can really grasp the ideas so that you can really learn. Make sure that you're never just moving video to video once. Read it five times before you move on. Read it six times, seven times, eight times. If you're ADHD, make sure you repeat it as much times as possible so you can grasp all the content. You understand? Eventually, you move on. No matter what your excuse is in life, you must be working each and every second of your life. You must be working on yourself. Guys, the real business is not the 9 to 5 job. The real business is never the 9 to 5 job. I'm better than not. The real business is you. Okay? You never work for somebody else. You work for yourself. You work on yourself. That's you working for yourself. 
you are self-employed. You are your employee. You are your boss. You are your investor. Be the four quadrants of life that Robert Kiyosaki stated. Be the employee of your life. Be the person who's self-employed of your life only. Be the person who is in the business investor side. Be the person who is a business person in your life. Be the person who is an investor in your life. Be the person who's in your terms the best you can be. Guys, that's how you live life. You understand? You live life by living it better. You live it better, you make sure you achieve more, you make sure you do something to motivate people. You're motivating every single day, you're doing something according to what's interesting for you. You understand? Make sure no matter what, you're taking yourself seriously. Guys, those people doing drugs, they'll never take you seriously. They're like, what are you doing, man? Come here, let's play FIFA. They said, never be those people. Never play FIFA. Never play FIFA in the first place. Never play games. Never be the person that's going to make a cafe to see the same old crew. Do you understand? Because the same old crew will get you nowhere. You need to fly high. You need to go where the attention is. You need to go to famous people who are really famous, who have really succeeded. Because those people are really going to help you. Do you understand? Now, what makes me qualified to give you this information? No matter what, you can trust me. You can trust me, I can give you the information right on the spot, exactly what you need. Because no matter what, I work for free, and guys, no matter what, I eventually, long term, I'm famous already. I'm famous already. No matter what. So, as I build my content, I'm doing it for free, guys. I'm doing it for free. So, whether you learn from me or no, it never bothers me because you lose out on me. You understand? Just because you believe something about me, I am always popular in my heart. I'm always popular. So when I am doing content, when I'm actually growing as a person, popularity never phases me. I never have to be popular. All I have to be doing is growing my daily life. That's all I do. I just grow you, man. I just grow you, sister. I'm just growing you. I never have to be popular in life. I never need to be popular. What I need to do is just, just need to grow. I just need to grow. So in terms of popularity, yes, I'm working my way in terms of growth. And growth brings everything else. So guys, just realize, you need to have more in life. So yes, more popularity is the best choice. You understand? More popularity is the best choice. But guess what? You need to start somewhere anyway. Make sure that no matter what, just because you have no popularity, never make that the problem that you can never start. Because once you never get started, you'll never be popular. You understand? So to make a difference in life, you have to get started first, and then people have to make the decision for you to be popular. You need to bring value into the market first before you can be popular. So what you do with that, you give for free. For free, for free, for free. For 50 years, you give for free. You eventually be popular. People will spread you around quickly. That's how I do it. And that's what Gary Vaynerchuk taught me. He said, do it for free. Do all your content for free. Make sure no matter what, that you're always spreading content around in the best of your ability, doing something incredible. You understand? Because popularity has everything to do with the moment. When you're in the moment, you're living life. Life is right now. Life is this moment. Guys, use your emotions. Use the person you are. Give the person your story and make sure no matter what, that you're happy with your story. Be happy with yourself. Have no guilt. Have no shame in life. Be a person who's far outgrowing everybody else around you. Make sure that you're inspiring people. Make sure that you're doing something according to the law in terms of never break the law in terms of never do something illegal never be a criminal never be a person who's a drug addict never be a person who's drug dealing never make dirty money do you understand? make clean money how do you make clean money? work with yourself you understand? never, never do money laundering do you understand? what's money laundering? money laundering is criminal work it's where you're taking money from whoever illegally the sense so never be a person who's doing illegal stuff in the planet now you have to realize that when you're living life when you're actually doing something amazing when you're traveling the world and you're using other people's money that you can use your own country's money to travel the world do you understand because your country has been probably giving you money in terms of your government allowance or whatever you have guys use it make sure that you live like you're broke with it use whatever you have and grow that money how do you grow it you realize that the only way to grow your money from $600 to $1 million is to use the $600 for a certain period of time and better your habits just with $600. Do you understand? From that point, you can actually become rich. You can actually do something. You can actually be richer and you can always have a better mindset.
Okay, guys? I'll see you guys in the next video.